Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all spot on. Thanks for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Iceland. Come and have a look what I've got. I'm going to walk around Iceland as you do. I came across this. Um, TGI Friday's um, new spicy cheese feast sharing pizza with a two chilli rating. It's 490 grams and there is the serving suggestion. This was £4.50. So let's have a look at the box. Uh, there's the front. Um, now it's a cheese feast pizza and it's just got like jalapenos on and look like, look like chilli flakes. We'll have a look anyway, but I mean you could probably make your own, couldn't you? Really easy. Um, and save yourself a few quid. But it's new and um, I have to try it. It's TGI Fridays. Um, that's what it's all about. Uh, 490 grams, a little bit of spiel there. Um, TGI Spicy Cheese Feast Sharing Pizza. Pizza ba base baked with seasoned oil sauce and topped with spicy cheese. Oh, it's spicy cheese sauce. Spicy cheese sauce. Mozzarella cheese. Um, what's that? Ballycashel. Ballycashel cheese. Never even heard of that one. Wow. I'll just zoom in a little bit more and have a look. Yeah, I'll have to do a bit of research, see what that's all about. Um, marinated jalapeno pepper slices, uh, coloured cheddar cheese and Montreux Jack cheese. So we've got some speciality cheeses in there by the sounds of it. Maybe that's why it's more expensive. There is some nutritional information if you want to pause that and have a look at that. By all means, go ahead. Um, they are the ingredients. I'll just zoom out. It's all in red with black writing, so it's quite difficult to see. There the owl are. I've got them in shot. Uh, allergens are wheat, um, milk, um, wheat germ in there. So preparation instructions for best results cooked from frozen, which this is. You do it in the oven. Preheat oven, fan 180, gas 6, remove from all packaging. Place directly onto the middle shelf of the oven for fan 18 minutes, gas 16 minutes. Mmm, little recycle there. Packed for Iceland Foods UK stores, Ireland. Yeah, so let's get this open and see what we have got. So I'm not sponsored by Iceland or anyone. Um, by any store or anything, I've just these um, videos are off my own back. Um, so there it is. Um, there's your jalapenos in there. Not very many, by the look of it. Um, I know on the box, there's a, there's a fair few on the box, um, and in reality, you, you hardly get any. Um, you get a couple of full ones, and these are just all sort of chopped up aren't they so hmm yeah let's get this open let's see if we do you need a knife no you don't need a knife or scissors now normally when you open like frozen pizzas normally says spread the ingredients out so that's what I'm going to do um, it's just it's just it's just not good enough is it let's be honest look at this there's not alpinos there is there um how many are on that box there? How many full jalapenos are on there? Well, you know, chopped up ones. I know there's a few like, oh, is there a few sort of, yeah, there's one there which is chopped up like, you know, but, you know, I mean, that's what you get. You're not getting many, are you, for your four and a half quid? Cool. Um, I know that this is like speciality cheese, but, and there's your base. Course, Bruce, there's not a lot there, is there? Before I do, look at all these little specks here. Look, you can see them all. It's There's loads of them. Well, where, where are they at on here? Oh, there's one there. There's one. There's one. Not many on this, is there? Not many at all. Quite poor. So it's coming in here. It's on the pizza setting. So we want 180. I'm going to come down. Um, for 18 minutes. And that's what it is. So I'm going to start it up. It'll start preheating, then it'll beep. And then once it's beeped, we'll get the pizza in. 
Um, I've just having a closer inspection at the cooking procedure and I've noticed that fan is 18 minutes and gas is 16 minutes. Uh, it's normally the other way around, normally gas takes longer and fan is quicker but maybe not on this one. The buzzer's just gone off, um, I'm going to get this pizza in now. So it just goes on the shelf, like that. I did get um, a pizza tray with this, um, but all the pizzas I've done have not required the tray. It's had the full 18 minutes at 180. Um, it's looking pretty good. Um, plenty of cheese there, just more of these jalapenos would be nice. To replicate the box. I know you don't get what's on the box, but you should do, shouldn't you? You're paying the money for it. You should get exactly what's on the box. Um, that's just my opinion. Let me know in the comments what you... I'm sure you'd feel the same way as well. Um, I'm going to pick it up and we'll see what it's like underneath because I'm testing my oven as well. Yeah, you can... You can hear that. That's nice and... It's nicely done on the bottom. No soggy bottom. Now, it's a, the big question is, wh how many slices do I cut it up into? That's the big debate. That is the big debate. I'm going to go, I think, I can manage four. If I cut it up into eight, I'll struggle. Oh, that's not very good, is it? Straight away. Can't beat the old dad jokes. Can't beat the dad jokes. I'm going for eight. I'm going to live on the edge here. <coughs> What's the old... Uh, I can smell them jalapenos. It's, the, it's, the, it's like the vinegar in them coming out. Yeah, I can smell it. it. Needs pepper as well on there for me. I'll just space it out a bit and let it cool down before I get into it because it'll be a, 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 like, like lava, that cheese. Right, can't wait any longer. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing to the channel. I'll put you, I'll put you back there a little bit. Oh, it is. It is cheesy. Um. That, that base is quite doughy. The bottom is the bottom is, is, is crisp, but the when you get into it, it's a little bit doughy. Now I don't know, you know. Let me get into a bit more. The jalapeno is a bit lost, maybe more of it. it it's saying it's um, a spicy cheese feast sharing pizza. Not getting a lot of spice through. Plenty of cheese, that's for sure. It's well seasoned, you don't need no more salt. Yeah, um, it's just, it's not spicy really. I mean, it's only gonna be spicy when you get into them jalapenos. And even then, because they've been cooked, They've lost the sort of flavour. The base is quite doughy as well. I was expecting, I wasn't expecting it to be as doughy. The edges are crisp. I'll see if I'm getting a bit with the jalapeno one. That speciality cheese there, it's not really doing much to, to be honest, it's just cheese. It's not very strong. That was a bit better. But nothing special, again, nothing special. I can taste more of the jalapeno now. It's like the vinegar that's in them, the marinated jalapenos with vinegar. 
I do apologise talking with my mouth full. It's very cheesy, but the cheese is not overly tasty, it's just cheese. It's quite bland. There's not a lot of jalapenos on it, giving it any flavour. And it's not spicy. The base is, the bottom's crisp, but as you get inside, it's a bit softer. It's, a, it's, a, it's quite a disappointment, I'll be honest. It, it really is a, a disappointing a pizza for me. At £4.50, I was expecting a lot better. A lot better. And it's just not delivered. It's just, yeah, cheesy. I mean, you can stick a lot of cheese on anything. Cheese tastes good. I love cheese. Cheese and chocolate. I can eat cheese and chocolate. <laughs> I've had um, a chocolate pizza before. I've reviewed that. Although it was late. It, the pizza was 45 minutes late when it got here. And it was like stiff as a cardboard. But, yeah, they put chocolate on pizzas, believe it or not. Anyway, yeah, um, I wouldn't get this again. I wouldn't get it again. It's a bit of a letdown, to be honest. Um, I would feel that I'd have to pimp this up so much. I'd have to put a load of pepper on it. So, um, spicy, ch um, some chilli flakes. I've got some habanero chilli flakes there. But... You taking if you start putting stuff on it when you're reviewing a pizza, you take it you're taking the, the pizza away from a review really, isn't it? But that's but you shouldn't have to do that. It says it's spicy, two chili rating, it ain't spicy and it ain't a two chili rating. Unfortunately it's a bit of a letdown, it really is a letdown. It's not a waste, I wouldn't throw it away. Um I would but I just wouldn't buy it again, simple as that. Um, so thanks for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, um, thanks for joining the membership. Um, and um, uh, yeah, just thanks for everything. Um, and I will see you on the next one.